Hi guys, you often ask me how to blend the extensions with short and thick hair, and today my friend Laura is going to help me to show you the trick. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. So to start with, I'll be using my Glam Time clip and hair extensions, available only online on glamtimehair.com. Each set is designed to cover your entire head, and depending on the thickness of your hair, you can choose either 120 gram set, 160 gram set, or 220 gram set. Feel free to also check out my previous videos. The first one where I show you how I attach the extensions in case of my thin, medium length hair, and another tutorial on how to create a high ponytail using clipping extensions. The technique is quite different. So if in case of thin hair you want to attach the extensions as low as possible at the back of your head, in order to have as much hair left above the extensions to cover them very well, in case of thick hair this approach is quite different. Ideally, you need a haircut which doesn't have any blunt cut lines, so a classic bob haircut is a very challenging to blend in with the extensions. In that case, I actually recommend you to either slightly modify your own haircut, feathering out the ends at least of your top layers, or get the extensions layered, so that you create multiple lengths, instead of dealing with just two lengths, that of the extensions and that of your own bob haircut. Ideally, you'd need to attach the extensions and ask your hairdresser to give you an appropriate haircut. Adding some layers to the extensions is always a great solution. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to gather the hair that lies behind Laura's ears and secure it in place. And you can do it in multiple different ways, for example, using a couple of twists or braids. And today I'm going to divide her hair into parts create two tiny braids, cross them over at the back of Laura's head and pin in place. I try to pin them as flat as possible against her scalp, simply in order to avoid creating any sorts of bumps. Then I'm going to attach my first three clip wefts right below the parting that I made. So what I do here, I basically keep the ends of Laura's hair completely hidden, so that they don't stand out against the extensions. Then I can proceed normally. In one of my previous videos I have already shown you how I do it, and uh, there I said that usually I like to attach the extensions as low as possible at the back of my head, because my hair is very thin, and I want to have as much hair left as possible to cover my extensions. But in case of thick hair, which is much shorter, the approach can be quite different. First of all, you may notice that the ends of your own hair stand out against the extensions, especially underneath. And the trick that I'd like to show you today is going to tackle this problem. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that in case of thick hair, you want to leave wider gaps between your wefts, you don't want to stick them all together, because you want to finish off attaching your top wefts as high as possible. And the purpose of doing this is to be able to blend the ends of your own hair, which is thick and short, into the extensions, without creating an effect of a helmet over the extensions. So the less of your natural hair you have lying over the extensions, the more natural the extensions will look. Here I actually skipped one last step. Ideally, I would need to straighten the ends of Laura's hair together with the extensions, just that area where her ends um, touch the extensions, in order to blend them in seamlessly. We were running out of time, so I didn't do that, but you should know that you can always either straighten your hair or curl your hair with the extensions. That's also a great technique to blend in the ends perfectly. Also, to add a lot of volume to your hair. Here we used a brand new set, which comes straightened and deep conditioned. That's why at this point Laura's hair doesn't look super voluminous, but you should know that once you wash the extensions for the first time, they're going to become significantly more voluminous. And if you curl them, for example with overnight braids, then you're going to see a real huge difference in terms of volume. And if you're wondering how to choose the color of the extensions, you should match them to the color of your ends, because your ends are often lighter than your roots. You can also send a picture of your hair to Glam Time Hair and ask for professional color matching. I hope this video is going to help you to blend in your extensions even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye!